We love to visit places all over the world. We often watch YouTube to prepare for what is important for our trip. There are always those things that you just need to know about your destination. Better prepare than regret later. So it's very useful that we provide you with the essential information for when you come to visit Amsterdam. From what not to do with your bike to what the emergency number is. Hey, how you doing? I'm Yvette. And I'm Odin. And welcome to Amsterdam Club Vlog, your local guide to the city. Time for some essential info. Let's go. Show me the money. If you stay somewhere for a while, you can hardly avoid spending money. Even if it's just to buy delicious cheese or that nice magnet for your mother-in-law. I would think it's useful to know what kind of money you need. Amsterdam is in the Netherlands and the Netherlands is in Europe. Fortunately, Europe has one currency and that's the Euro. In many places you can pay with debit or credit card, but sometimes you have to pay in cash. Then it's good to know that many shops no longer accept large notes, such as 500 euros, 200 euros and 100 euros. If you take money from the ATM, it's smart not to go larger than 50 euros. Many shops also do not accept 1 and 2 euro cent coins. You usually won't get this back and the amount will be rounded up. Except if you pay by debit or credit card. Time to go shopping. I've got the power. With so much to see in this dynamic city, you need to charge your phone and tablet regularly. I think a travel plug is a good idea. But which one? To keep it technical, you need a Type-C plug for the Netherlands. Or even more technically, a CEE 7-16 plug better known as the Europa plug. The voltage here is 220 to 230 volt and all that at 50 Hz. If you come from outside Europe, you'll probably have different plugs at home. In addition to bringing the correct travel plug, we also advise you to bring a prowess strip from your own country. Then you can charge multiple devices on one travel plug. Handy! Some serious stuff. Let's hope it never happens to you on your holiday, but sometimes you need an emergency service immediately. The emergency service in Amsterdam and the Netherlands are here for everyone regardless of religion, appearance or orientation. For example, the closer you are to the center of the city, the faster the police can be there on the scene, sometimes within seconds. In some countries that may be perceived as uncomfortable, but I guarantee you as a true Dutchman that the police are here to protect and assist you where possible. It is therefore nice that ambulance, police and fire brigade are joined under one number. Even if you use your mobile phone here from outside Europe on a local network. As long as you press 112 call on your mobile phone, you will always get in touch with an emergency center. The very first thing you will hear is the choice of what you need most. Police, ambulance or fire department. Even if you do not understand what's being said, you can always say police, ambulance or fire department in English. As long as it is in English or Dutch, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. If you have to call 112, you have other things on your mind. You will get in touch with what you asked for as soon as possible. As long as you speak Dutch or English, you won't have a problem. If it's less urgent, but you do want to contact an emergency service, there's also the number 0900-8844. This is for when the situation is calmer and less urgency is required. Here are the numbers again, 112 and 0900-8844. Help is on the way. Talk to me, baby. The Dutch have been sailing around the world for many centuries to trade and discover. And the absolute center of it is Amsterdam. It's therefore no surprise that through these centuries many different languages have echoed in the streets of this trading city. Today, people from 190 different countries live and work in Amsterdam. Ultimately, there's one language that stands out and that's English. 
Research has shown that Dutch and English overlap for at least one third. In addition, it's taught in schools as standard. As a result, about 80 to 85% of the Dutch speak English. Amsterdam and the Netherlands are therefore very popular for people from English-speaking countries and areas. It's not uncommon to ask your question directly in English. The question, do you speak English, has become redundant in Amsterdam. What's that now? Bottoms up! Amsterdam is known as the Venice of the North and has always been closely connected to water. It also has many canals and two rivers that flow through the city. Now I do have to tell you that I don't want to drink the water from the canals. The water from the water tap in Amsterdam and the Netherlands on the other hand is of very high quality. Sometimes even so good that it reaches the quality of bottled water. In other words, you can just drink the water from the tap. It's wise to fill a bottle before you go out. Drinks around the house. Return to cellar. When visiting beautiful cities, you just know that you're away from your hotel for quite a few hours. Of course, it's essential to continue to drink a lot and eat regularly. There are many terraces and restaurants in the center to eat and drink something. A very good idea is to bring a refillable bottle with the tap water from the previous article. If you haven't bought that bottle or haven't brought it yet, you can always buy a bottle or a can with your favorite drink in a supermarket or shop. Please note that in addition to small bottles, since April 1st, 2023, there's also a deposit on cans in the Netherlands. Almost all cans with this logo carry a small deposit for 15 euro cents. There are also 15 euro cent deposit on bottles smaller than a liter. If you regularly visit a supermarket where you often buy something, you can return your empty bottles and cans to the vending machine there. After which you will receive your deposit back. Make sure you don't dent the cans too much, otherwise the barcode will no longer be readable. Don't feel like walking around with a bag full of empty bottles and cans? Do not throw them in the bin, but put them on the rack on the side of the bins for people who are less able to go on a holiday. Thank you for that. What's that sound? A few times a year, something happens in Amsterdam that frightens people, causes panic and creates images of horror. Don't worry, what you hear is indeed the air raid siren. It's tested every first Monday of the month at noon. When you hear this alarm, it's quite normal to look at your watch to see if it's 12 o'clock. If so, it's just a test. This test has been around as long as I have, and I'm very used to it. Good to know! Save the date. Not every country is the same. For example, driving on the road, currency, unit of measurement or power consumption. Similarly, the way of registering the date differ. That is not a problem if you want to visit the city on 01-01-2024. But it is if it comes to 01-10-24. In the Netherlands we use this order of dates. Day, month, year. Or small, medium, large. So for instance, March 17th. 2026 is 1703 2026 with us. Very handy when booking your room or your tickets. Holy shopping, Batman! What really makes a city come to life is the teeming people looking for the nicest things. Just because it's vacation or just to buy it. Enjoy shopping in the small cozy shops or score a good deal in that branch of that large chain that you actually also have at home. Amsterdam has many shops where you can do all of that. Not only in the center, but also around it. You can spend your money on exactly what you're looking for. On our holidays and city trips, we sometimes ended up in front of closed doors on Sunday because it was Sunday. Fortunately, your shopping addiction does not have to stop in Amsterdam because the shops in the center are open on Sundays. Ladies, start your shopping! 
Duck cover roll. In Amsterdam you can get around the city in different ways. The slowest of these is certainly the pedal boat. Two other means of transport that apparently have nothing to do with each other are the bicycle and the tram. If you want to go from A to B quickly without too much effort, the tram is very obvious. If you want to determine your own path through the city, you can rent a bicycle in almost every street in the center to enjoy cycling through the city together. But for cyclists, there's a danger that many visitors to the city are unaware of. That danger lies in the tram rails on which the tram runs. This rail runs throughout the city and you will certainly encounter it as a cyclist. The danger is in the front wheel of the bicycle. If it gets into the rails, it will lock immediately. As a result, with sufficient speed you will roll over. This happens regularly in the city. Make sure that your front wheel never gets into or stuck in the tram rails. So you won't get injured during your holiday. We're on a roll. We've reached the end of this episode. We hope it was useful. See you in the next video. If you want to see more of Amsterdam, select one of the videos on the left. We appreciate it if you would subscribe and follow us on the socials. Thank you for watching, until next time.